guys, it's Holly and today I'm going to be doing yet another candy kit subscription box, Japanese candy. Um, I'm going to try to film this with my face. Uh, I don't have my glasses on because I'm trying out these new contacts to see if I like them. But anyways, so some of you said that you want to actually see my face because I want to be trying some of these out. So let me know if you like this way better than me showing just what I'm doing. Okay. So this subscription box is called Freedom Japanese Market. And they are a family and they ship from the U.S. They do have free shipping worldwide. So no matter where you live, there's free shipping. It is $25 a month. You get about a pound of candy and snacks. And if you decide to get this box, when you check out, if you put the helicopter in the notes section, then you get a free bonus candy in your first box. There's a little origami thing. Um, I think it's just a hat, maybe. Huh, but it's cute though. Okay, so inside the box is this paper. And it has a picture of them and their family and their children. So cute. And it says the names of all of them. So Ken is the dad. He's a snack enthusiast. Sine is the product coordinator and origami maven. And their two kids, Juliet and Kevin, are the official taste testers and quality control. So this box is actually Halloween themed, which I'm so excited about. Um, it says that has limited edition snacks that will only be in Japanese stores for another month or so. We hope you enjoy these candies. Blah blah blah. I am super duper excited for this. So this is what the box looks like. It is super full and I'm really excited so let's get started. So the first thing is pumpkin pudding flavored Kit Kat. Creamy pumpkin flavor that leaves a very pleasant aftertaste. Well we will see about that. So this is the pumpkin Kit Kat and it looks super duper adorable and I don't know if you can see that very well but it looks really cute and it says trick or treat and there's really cute pumpkin packaging. So I'm honestly kind of scared of this right now. It smells kind of odd. This is what it looks like. So just like a normal Kit Kat only it is a very vibrant yellow color. It really doesn't even taste like pumpkin to me. I mean, you can kind of taste a little bit of pumpkin, but if I didn't know it was supposed to be pumpkin, I wouldn't say it tasted like pumpkin. It just kind of tastes like white chocolate, which is really good because I like white chocolate. So that is very, very good. These are so cute. Like, I'm so excited that this is Halloween themed. It's adorable. So the next thing is the potato rings that I'm trying to find. Holy. So there's this ginormous bag. Holy crap, this is ginormous. So this says that it's fried chicken flavored potato rings. This is a ginormous bag, so I'm really excited to try this. And it looks like the bat has like a finger and it's holding the little ring, but I love these packagings. They're really cute. Okay. So these are like really like perfect looking rings. It's definitely not like a Funyun. I was kind of expecting a Funyun, but it's not like a Funyun at all because this is very like thin and dense. Like a Funyun is very like airy and like I don't know what the word is, but it has a lot of bubbles in it and this it doesn't have bubbles at all. It's almost kind of like fried noodle almost because it's just super, super thin. Like it looks like a noodle. It definitely has a flavor that's similar to chicken, but I don't know that I would say that it was chicken flavored. It does have like a potato -y thing. They're pretty good. I would probably eat most of these, but not all of them. Very interesting. It kind of actually tastes like a baked lay potato chip. That's kind of what it tastes like. But this is a huge bag, so that is really awesome. They give you so much. Have I said that I'm excited that this is Halloween themed? Because I'm really, really excited that this is Halloween themed. Okay, so the next thing is a creamed filled cake. 
dipped in chocolate. These are very delicious and very hard to share. So this is a little choco pie. And the packaging, again, is super duper adorable with a pumpkin, two pumpkins. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, that was really good, you guys. So it's a lot like a moon pie, kind of. Like, it's just vanilla cake with cream in the middle covered in chocolate. And it's pretty good. It's pretty really good. That is very good. Very American tasting. And very delightful. So far, so good with this kit. I did say in a note that they only put in things that they themselves would eat. Which I feel like is good for me because sometimes I'm a little bit picky with like foreign food. So this is great if you're like scared of Japanese food because I feel like they're actually putting stuff in that they are pretty sure you're going to like. So the next thing is this one which has this really cute sad little witch guy on it. This is Baby Star Ramen. And it says crunchy chicken flavored noodles that you can eat right out of the package. And there's a super adorable little ghost on the back. Oh, and this is a pumpkin I didn't even realize, so that's pretty cute. So this is what they look like, just like little dried noodles. There definitely is like a chicken, like soy saucy flavor. It's kind of salty. It tastes more like soy sauce than chicken to me, actually. But they taste exactly like the ramen noodles and are quite as hard, though. But these are my favorite, but they're pretty good. It tastes, you know, a little bit like soy sauce. So anyway, so there's that. Next is this cookie that is called a Genchi Pie. It says pie crust butter cookie with a sugar glaze. These crispy little treats have been around for a long time and are a common sight in most waiting room candy dishes. So very cute and Halloween themed. Looks really good. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like. That is very good, my friends. That is very, very, very delightful. It's not too crunchy. The glaze on it is really nice and gives it a nice sweetness. You smell the butteriness of the, the cookie, and it's superb. I really enjoyed that, if you couldn't tell. That was very, very good. Next is this super adorable Halloween-themed Topo, Topo, so cute. Look how cute the box is. And oh my gosh, they even have this thing on the back that shows you how to do nail art. How stinking cute is that? So it's basically showing you how to make like a little ghost on your nails. So cute. I just want to keep this box because it's so adorable. So this says this box contains packages of chocolate filled pretzel tubes. The box also gives advice on how to paint really cool Halloween themed nails. I love this. I'm really, really happy about this box right now because I think that they picked really cool stuff. And I don't know if it's because I'm biased because they have, it's Halloween themed. But so far I'm really happy with this box and I'm really excited about it. So I can open it. So this is what it looks like. It says that it's a pretzel. It doesn't really look like a pretzel, but it has chocolate on the inside. And I love that this has a diagram on how to open it, and I didn't open it that way. <laughs> I don't follow instructions. I don't think I've ever had these before, but I think they're pretty popular, and they're really good. Kind of like an inside-out Pocky. These are really, really good. If you like Pocky, you will like. Mmm. So cute. I think this is the Kiniko no Yama Takanoko no Sato. I don't know. Each box contains an individual packet of either mushroom or bamboo shaped cookies with chocolate caps. So this is the packaging and it's so cute and it has little pumpkins and a bunny and the back has a pile of pumpkins and it's so cute. I love the packaging. So it looks like these are the little marsh, marshmallows, little mushroom chocolate thingies. How cute. So it's a little mushroom. I actually don't know if I've had this before either. I've seen them everywhere, but I don't think I've actually eaten one. So it looks like it's like the little cookie bottom with like a chocolate top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really good. If you like chocolate, you like bread stick thing, you'll like that. They're very good. Lots of chocolate in this box. Next is the super cute. I am just loving all of these Halloween things, you guys. 
These are the Koalas March Strawberry Filled Koala Cookies. And oh my gosh, look at the packaging. It has strawberries and a witch. And I'm dying right now. There's a little koala ghost, you guys. Koala ghost. So freaking cute. I love it so much. Oh, I just love this packaging. Oh, how cute when you open it. There's a little panda inside. Not panda. Why am I saying panda? Koala. How adorable. It smells like strawberries. So this is what the little koala cookie looks like. Looks like he's eating popcorn, maybe? I don't know what he's eating. He's being silly. This is very similar to Pocky, again, with the super fake tasting strawberry, which I normally don't mind, but maybe my palette is changing, but I think I'm not really a big fan of the super fake strawberry flavor anymore. I don't know. It smells really good. I think this is a witch one, which is really cute. Oh, how cute. These are adorable. They're all Halloween themed. So here's the little koala holding a pumpkin, which is so cute. I just want to like go through and find all the really cute ones. I don't want to eat them. So that is super adorable and yummy, but mainly adorable. There's a bonus snack, which is this DIY chocolate puzzle by Crazy. This says, see how many puzzle pieces you can connect together or just eat them straight out of the package. Each puzzle piece is about the size of an M&M and has the consistency of a Tootsie Roll. Interesting. Hang upside down. That's what it looks like. Oh, they're so tiny. You weren't kidding. It smells interesting. So these are the little tiny um, puzzle pieces that you can put together to make a little puzzle. That's weird. Definitely does has, have a texture similar to a Tootsie Roll, only a lot softer. The strawberry tastes very strange to me for some reason. Huh. Those are very good. It almost has like a weird like banana flavor to it. I have no idea why. But it almost like smells like a chocolate covered banana. But it's just chocolate. I don't know. It's very weird. But very cool and fun if you want to make a little puzzle. Lastly in my box is a little Rilakkuma item. But I got this little Rilakkuma thing. I actually don't really know what it is. Oh, how cute. Looks like a sock almost. I think this is supposed to go on a water bottle, but it's so cute and it's a Rilakkuma. And then on the back has his little zipper. So that is super, super cute. And it opens up and you can put a water bottle in there. So that's pretty adorable. So once again, this was Freedom Japanese Market. Again, it is $25 a month free shipping. I was really, really happy with this box. I don't know if it was because it was Halloween themed or not, but I love the items that they chose. They were all really yummy, nothing too strange. I really, really love it, recommend it. So once again, if you decide that you wanna get this subscription box, just make sure to mention me and my channel when you are checking out in the notes section and you'll get a free bonus candy in your first box. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you like me doing these videos where I show my face and let me know down below what you think of me in general, I guess. I will put all the information down in the description and I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye!